so uh, hello my friends uh, first of all you know before i begin i would like to say a big thank you to each and every one of you uh, you know for being interested in uh, knowing about you know channel sessions and also learning a lot about you know the light and how it uh, is changing our life and how we are now uh, in the beginning phases of the fourth density consciousness as per Ra and as per the other beings so uh, in this video uh, there will be two sections in the first part you know I'm going to talk about how uh, you know these dark forces the uh, the negatively oriented entities as per you know like the definition of Ra uh, you know almost tried to like kill me okay literally try to kill me two times okay I'm going to tell you that and then uh, after that I will uh, a session that I had with Ra uh, in which Ra explains how uh, we as uh, human beings on this planet can protect ourselves from negative influence from these negative entities so uh, the first thing is that you see uh, in our planet right now okay right now our planet has uh, started to evolve from the third density and it's going towards the fourth density right so it's in the transition phases it's not completely in the fourth density uh, meaning that you know some some portion is still in the third density right so and some of the portion has entered into the fourth density so the changes as the changes are taking place you know since third density is the uh, density of choice on our planet there will be uh, you know like two types of energy coming in at this time one will be the energies of ascension, uh, the energies of the light from the positive oriented forces like the Pleiadians, like the Andromedans. They are sending us these positive energies and if we vibrate positively, we will match with the vibration of that energy and we will take that energy and we will evolve much more faster. In a similar manner, okay uh, earth at the moment is being bombarded with negative energy also coming from the negative entities now as per you know the sessions i have done i think the negative oriented entities you know there there are two types of negative oriented entities uh, the first one is the uh, there are anunnakis not all okay but there are anunnakis who are on the planet nibiru uh, who are particularly negatively oriented so they want to you know uh, make other planets negatively oriented as well okay when I mean negatively oriented what I mean is that uh, they want to you know make the people on the planet self service oriented instead of service to others they want us to be like them to be service to self to only think about oneself that's what they want us to be right and we know that from the sessions you know so many times you know they tell us that that is their main agenda and so there are two types of energy coming in and it depends on the people's vibration some people you know who are uh, positively oriented will not be affected by the negative energies because the vibrations do not match it's a game of vibration our life you know internally if we see it there is an internal layer that is working underneath the physical you will see this if you you know like open your like uh, you know mind and uh, you understand certain things you will understand you know like whenever you meet uh, someone that is uh, negatively oriented or a person who is only thinking about hi himself or itself you know that you know your energy matched with that person that is the reason why you are meeting that person right and the other thing is when you meet someone positive uh, let's say you met someone who is really amazing right and you got this amazing feeling of energy and that happened because you matched the energy with that person so I'm gonna tell you two times uh, these dark forces the negative entities they you know, almost try to kill me okay so the first time was uh, when I was almost like two years old I was a uh, young 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 
like a child okay and uh, you know my mother you know my mother told me this i mean the, she cannot like speak in english properly because uh, where i live you know people don't speak in english english is not our like uh, normal you know natural language uh, we speak in uh, in the normal language which is nepali and uh, you know we speak in uh, other languages as well but not in english okay normally we don't speak in english so you know what happened was that i still remember this when i was uh, young okay uh, in our house there used to be a big bowl of milk a big bowl of milk uh, was boiled and kept in the kitchen okay at that time and uh, at that time you know i was being young i had no idea right so the milk was kept on the floor and it was like sealed with a big lid okay so this milk is like very hot it is boiling milk right it's very hot so uh, what ended up happening was that you know my mom went outside at that time okay at that time my bed, my mom went outside and um, you know somehow you know the lid opened and i put accidentally put both my hands into the uh, into the milk so what ended up happening was that my hands both uh, were burnt very badly by the milk and i was just 2 years uh, old so both my hands were like burnt like and they became like this they became like this i wasn't able to you know do anything they were totally burnt and uh, my mom still tells me okay she took me to the doctor at that time and you know the doctor you know who she took it to you know she took me to many doctors at that time okay like it's around uh, 25 to 26 years before this this event happened and the doctors you know each said that you know uh, my both hands should be you know like cut there was no way uh, you know like they could like heal me okay and you know that's that's how the you know negative uh, entities they try to stop me you know, by first is you know i believe that the lid was uh, you know moved by some negative entity i believe that okay and the second is that you know how my hands got healed i'll tell you okay so my mom she was sleeping right one day after this event happened and she got the idea that uh, you know she saw something in her dream and that something told her in her dream to you know open my hands you know like normally to open my hands uh, you know without any assistance from the doctors so she did that okay she opened my hand you know i started to cry a lot and after some time you know like uh, after 15 days my hand started to heal so i think this was uh, the guidance from the uh, positively oriented entity uh, that's what they do okay they can only influence i mean they can send us ideas but uh, it is our free will whether we will act on the idea or not so that was the uh, first time and the second time was that uh, what happened was when I went to uh, my cousin's house. Okay, my uh, we have a family member who lives in uh, Siliguri. Okay, it's a place named Siliguri near Sikkim. So we went there, and uh, in that area they have like lots of cows, and they have cow sheds and all that stuff. Okay, so in the cow shed, you know they had uh, this huge, uh, huge area for uh, keeping or storing the cow dung so it's uh, like a storage tank okay it's like 10 feet on the ground and it's full of like this cow dung so at that time i still remember this it is it happened in when i was 16 right so when i was playing uh, on uh, around that area right i was just playing and i remember something okay this is not a human being something came and pushed me into that cow dung literally pushed me okay when i looked behind there was nobody okay trust me and uh, you know i almost i had almost you know like my body had almost gone totally inside that however you know however a person who was walking on the street he saw me he saw me and then he pulled me out of that area so you see this time also the light the light the the guidance from the you know from the higher beings the pleiadians the ra you know all of them they saved me one more time you know what i mean this is how the negative and the positive forces are playing a role in each and every one's life my friends 
this is happening at this moment so I hope you understand you know uh, how the uh, negative and the positive both are actually playing a role in our life and shaping our life you know actually I think um, the negative forces you know they wanted to like you know kill me when I was young because that way I would not be you know sharing the messages of the light however you know I am so thankful that you know like the 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 light forces you know the positively oriented forces they actually helped me and saved me so that I could share their messages right now with all of you and now I'm gonna uh, play the session which I did with Ra in which he explains you know how we can actually uh, be immune to the negative influence and uh, yeah thank you so I am Ra we greet you in the love light of the one the infinite creator we are here to share our insights with you however note that these insights that we share should only be accepted if your heart resonates with it therefore today this instrument seeks to understand how the negative entities those primarily of the negatively polarized orions and the negatively polarized anunnakis influence the people on your planet at these times, the quarantine is placed on Earth, which does not allow any other extra-density species to visit Earth. However, the energies of influence are being beamed at Earth from both the positive as well as the negative entities at the present time space. The negative entities preach about service to self and control over other entities. Their teachings is different than our teachings of free will and service to others. These entities are bombarding Earth with negative energy also. Those beings on your planet at this time who seek more self-service oriented polarity will get affected by these energies. Those with positive polarity to a certain degree are completely free of any influence from these negative energies. These negative energies prey on those that seek such self-service, influence, and vibration. These negative energies will make each entity that accepts the energy to be overflowing with energies or emotions that your kind calls anger, hate, regret, and mostly fear. These entities mainly create fear in the minds of the various entities in your time space. Those whose vibrations match with this energy will become affected by it. However, these energies are all around you. For instance, in every situation, there is a positive and negative aspect. It depends on the entity, whether it chooses to focus on the positive or the negative. Further, to gain immunity or be unaffected by these oncoming energies, an entity needs to focus on the love light that is within its own heart and with the activation of the heart chakra and its energies. Focusing on the positive side even when the negative shows itself will make such entities immune against the negative energies. The negative entities want to spread the lower consciousness emotions such as that stated above which are those of fear hate, regrets, etc. These can be immunized by the application of higher consciousness emotions such as love, forgiveness, and optimism. This is the only way an entity on your planet can become immune to so-called negative influence. However, the choice lies upon each entity on your planet to choose its appropriate distortions. For each entity has its own free will and choice on this third density illusion that abounds each of you. This answers your query at this time space. We leave you now in the love light of the one infinite creator. Therefore, go forth rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator, Adonai.